And welcome back once again to the digital job site in this um, third in a series of videos for um, importing a crown molding profile into SketchUp using PhotoMatch with the purpose of calculating compound miter angles. Um, all right, so to continue, uh, the first uh, two videos showed how to get to this stage with a photo match and the modeling planes and uh, so now we'll just continue with some guidelines to capture this um, the rest of this profile. So I've taken the protractor tool I get it um, showing in the, the blue plane and uh, I'm just going to go on this point here click the red axis and then rotate it. I check this molding with a, um, with a scale uh, a protractor in real life and determined that this angle is 37 degrees. I think that's fairly standard for a crown molding. And you can see there's a slight divergence between my photograph and this line. Um, I, I attribute most of that to a, a parallax condition in the photograph um, that I can't totally work out with SketchUp. So now I'm going to put the um, protractor um, tool over here and I know that um, this angle on the actual crown molding measured 90 degrees. Um, so I've taken a little bit of uh, re information from reality to assist in creating this profile. Here again, I'm just taking the, the measure tool. I'm going to go to this corner here. You see there's a little discrepancy in the angle there, but that's it's such a slight amount, it's not going to matter in the long run. Um, here again, I'm just drawing off another uh, reference line. Um, just to set up guidelines for, for the purposes of tracing this. I'm just going to approximate this corner and I know that this line isn't in reality it's not quite 90 degrees but for the sake of this model I think that uh, I think that line is like two or maybe three degrees off of 90 but um, I don't think it'll affect um, the uh, purpose of this model. So now with those guidelines I can just draw um, lines in place here. I'm going to approximate where that rounded corner would end up and uh, just kind of kind of mark these just follow those angle lines and you'll see that um, I've got a measurement here 2764 so in reality you know that, that may be more or less and you can get as particular as you want drawing these guidelines to um, to be more and more realistic. The more time you want to spend, the more perfectly accurate the um, the drawing will be to the actual molding. Here I've grabbed the arc tool. I'm just going to connect the ends of these lines and I can just bend that arc in there and that says, okay, it's got a radius of 1364. Um, and it's it's a little off uh, on this corner, but I'm not going to sweat that deal. Like I said, if you want to, you can get just as accurate as you want to be. I've actually ordered molding knives for Williams and Hussey Molder by creating realistic um, drawings and then sending them in. So you can get really particular with this stuff. But uh, for the purposes of this, I'm going to kind of breeze through. And now we need a set of compound curves um, to replicate the profile is molding and because I'm working we're working with a drawing plane here uh, it's pretty easy to make these lines behave if you're just trying to do this in open space I think you'd have some challenges anytime that line shows up in that turquoise color those lines are tangent so you get a nice smooth flowing curve without any kinks in it um, so you can see how I start at one end and pick various points and get a nice smooth flowing curve to to um, copy the uh, the compound curve of the face of the crown molding. Once that's completed, if I've done everything right, I can select the surface and now you can see we have a, a profile um, matching uh, very, very closely to the, um, the actual profile of this oak molding I got. So I'm going to stop the video here now that we have the profile and uh, I'll do another uh, video or possibly two um, by, and show where we go once we've captured that 
uh, accurately profiled and to scale um, uh, geometry from the end of this uh, crown molding sample.